Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this problem called add edges to make degrees of all nodes even. So the problem says that we will be given with an undirected graph having n number of nodes numbered from 1 to n and we are performed to add at most two edges such that all the nodes have even degree. And what do we mean by degree? So in undirected graph degree is equals to the number of edges a node is having, right? So we want all nodes to have even number of edges and we have to return true or false based on if we can make sure that all the nodes can have even edges uh, when we are allowed to add at most two number of edges. Okay, so let's take uh, this graph for an, uh, as an example. So one is connected to two and three, three is connected to five, four and two, and two is connected to four and three and one, right? So now how many edges or number of nodes this one is connected to? We can say that it is connected to two, right? And which is even, right? Similarly, if we talk about two, then it is connected to three nodes or is having three edges which are uh, connected, right? So for uh, three, we, three is connected to four number of nodes. Similarly, four is connected to two number of nodes and five is connected to one node, right? So out of these five nodes, we can say that we have two nodes such that they have a degree which is odd, right? Now we are allowed to add at most two number of edges to make sure that these two nodes uh, have even edges, right? So can we add some edge such that they both have even edges? So what we can do is to make uh, this and this number as even, we can add one more edge between these two nodes. And now the edges uh, for five is two and the number of edges for two is four. So now we can say that all the nodes have even number, even edges, right? Every node is having a even edge. So using one operation, we were able to do this thing. So in that case, we have to return true. So if we can make sure that all the nodes uh, will have even edges, if you are allowed to add at most two edges, then in that case we have to return two, otherwise we have to return false, right? Okay, now if all the nodes which are given in the undirected graph already have even degree, in that case can we say that the answer will be true? So if uh, uh, zero number of nodes have uh, odd degree, then can we say that the answer is always true, right? So in that case answer is always true. Okay, now uh, we are allowed to add at most two edges, right? So if we add one edge, then it will change the degree for two nodes, right? For example, we uh, used one edge to connect two and five and it changed the degree for two nodes, right? So if we use one edge, uh, using one edge, we can uh, change the degree of two nodes. So can we say that if we have two nodes having odd edges, in that case, using one edge, we can try to change their degree but it will not be possible in all cases. For example, let's say we have uh, two nodes which are connected to each other. Now they both have odd degree, right? One degree and one degree. Now we can't connect these two nodes using an edge because we, this, these two nodes are already connected with one edge, right? So if we will include or add one more edge, then it will be repeated edge or we can say it will be parallel edges that are not allowed, right? We are not allowed to use parallel edges or and also we are not allowed to use uh, self loops. For example, we can't connect same node to itself, right? So if we have two nodes having odd uh, degree and if they are not adjacent, in that case for sure the answer will be true, right? Uh, odd length, uh, oh, sorry, odd degree and non-adjacent. They are not adjacent, right? So if we have two nodes uh, having odd degree and not adjacent, then in that case answer will be true, right? Okay, now if we uh, try to use two edges, then uh, for how many nodes we can change the degree? So we can, uh, using two nodes, we can change the degree of uh, four nodes, right? Separately we can uh, connect two nodes, separately we can connect two nodes. So in that case, uh, four nodes will be impacted, right? Now can we con try to connect three nodes using two edges? We can do that but in that case what will happen is that uh, let's say the number of edges for this particular node was odd. Then we added one uh, edge. Then it will convert the number of edges for this A will, uh, to even. Now if we add one more edge then again it will make the number of nodes for A uh, odd, right? So and like uh, connecting three nodes using two edges will not be a really good idea if all three have odd edges, right? So it will be better if we just connect four nodes using two edges. So if we uh, use two uh, edges, in that case, we can try to change the uh, degree for four number of uh, nodes. So if we are given with four number of uh, nodes, uh, which are having odd degree, in that case, we can try to use these two edges. So in these two, let's say what we want. We want two pairs of nodes having non-adjacent values. 
for example if uh, from these from this graph we can try to connect uh, uh, like three okay all these nodes are connected right so what uh, we can do is let's say we have uh, one more node here six right and uh, let's say we have uh, one more node here seven uh, okay now what we have is we have three nodes here we have uh, five nodes here and we have one node one two there right so we have four nodes having odd values right so what we can do is we want uh, two pairs two pairs such that they are not adjacent so can we say that uh, 3 and 7 is not uh, adjacent and uh, 4 and 6 is also not adjacent so we can try to pick uh, we can try to connect 3 and 7 and we can try to connect 4 and 6 and why we are doing so because if we try to pick uh, 3 and 4 they are already connected so we can't uh, again add a edge uh, between 3 and 4 right so that's why we are interested in non-adjacent pairs so we can try to connect 3 with 7 and we can try to connect 4 with 6 right so in this case now the number of edges for 7 is 2 number of uh, edges for 6 is also 2 for 3 it's 6 and for uh, 4 it is 4 okay so now all the nodes have uh, have uh, even number of even edge right so if we have 4 nodes having odd edge and we are able to get 2 pairs which are non adjacent in that case also our answer will be true right Okay, now let's talk about a few of the possibilities with the uh, four nodes. So if we have let's say A, B, C and D, which are having odd uh, degree. So now what can be the scenario? Uh, like uh, A, B can be, uh, pay, uh, like can be adjacent, C and D can be adjacent. If that is the case, in that case we can pick A, C and B, D, right? Uh, okay, what else uh, is possible? We can also have a case in which three nodes are connected, right, directly. So now what uh, what we can do? We can try to connect A and D because they are not adjacent and we can also try to connect C and uh, C and B. So this will work, right? And even if A and C is connected, again we can connect these two nodes and these two nodes, right? But if A and D or B or C is connected, right? Now in this case, we do not have two pairs with non-adjacent elements because if, if we pick any pair of two nodes from this particular uh, graph, then we will always get two adjacent nodes. We will never get two pairs with non-adjacent nodes, right? So in this case, uh, we will not be able to make the degree. Uh, we will not be able to make the degree of all nodes even, right? So our answer will be true if we are able to generate, if we are able to get two pairs with non-adjacent uh, nodes, right? Okay. So uh, let's try to uh, see how we can go about this uh, idea. So let, let us just remove these two edges which we have uh, made. So our first step would be to find out that how many nodes have odd degree and which are those nodes, right? So we have uh, four, three, five, uh, sorry, six and seven, right? These three, these four nodes having odd, uh, odd number of uh, odd edges, right? Or odd uh, degree. Now we know that if we have zero nodes uh, with odd degree or two nodes of odd degree and four nodes of odd degree, in that case uh, we are we we have a possible case in which we we will have to return true, right? So in this case we got four uh, nodes with odd length. So in generic case, let's say we will get x number of nodes with odd degree. So if this x is not equals to zero. Uh, and it is also not equals to two, and it is also not equals to four. In that case, can we simply say that the answer will be false? Right? If uh, uh, x is equal to any of these three values, in that case, our answer is possible. In zero, it is always possible. But in two and four, we'll have to check for adjacent nodes. Right? So in this case, we will get uh, we got uh, four nodes having odd edges. Right? So now what we have to do is for let's say for four, we will have to pick a node which is not adjacent to four. So how many uh, nodes we have which are not adjacent to 4? So 7 is adjacent to 4, 6 is also, like 3 is also adjacent to 4. So 6 is the only possible node which we can connect with 4, right? Same thing we can do for 3. So for uh, 3, we can try to check which node out of these 4 is uh, non-adjacent. So for 3, only 7 is non-adjacent, right? So we, now we have, like this is how we can find out pairs, right? So from here, we can we say that uh, for uh, for a particular node, let's say for A, we might have to search that uh, out of some number of nodes, how many nodes are adjacent to this or not adjacent to this, right? So while generating our adjacency list, we will have to make sure that we will have this search operation, right? And we want to reduce the time complexity of this search. So what we can do? 
uh, instead of uh, using a vector of vector or a list of list what we can try to do is we can try to we can try to use a vector of unordered map or a list of hash map so that if this this part will be uh, unordered map or hash map then the searching can be performed in order of one right uh, in average case we can just simply check uh, for all the adjacent nodes for four we can simply check that if uh, three is adjacent or not six is adjacent or not and seven is adjacent or not right so we will use uh, a vector of unordered map or a list of hash maps right okay so like this is all uh, we have to do right first we have to find out the number of nodes having uh, odd degree and if that uh, number is not equal to 0 2 or 4 in that case our answer is false and if uh, x is equal to 0 in that case our answer is true and if we have 2 or 4 in that case we will have to check for non adjacent uh, pairs so if uh, if x is equal to 2 in that case we just want one pair uh, with non adjacent nodes and if uh, uh, x is equal to 4 in that case we need two pairs with non adjacent pairs right so first task is to find out the nodes having odd degree then second task is to find out uh, pairs with non adjacent which are not non adjacent elements non adjacent elements okay right and that can be easily performed if we have a vector of unordered map or a list of hash maps right cool so this would be the uh, pseudo code or we can say that it will be the number of it will be the steps that we will have to follow in order to solve this problem so now what you guys can uh, try to do is you can try to implement this code on your own and if you face any difficulty while implementing then you can comment your queries or code in the comment section and we'll be more than happy to uh, answer your queries uh, and we'll also try to debug your code okay so i think that's all for uh, this video and i'll meet you in the next one